Ciao and welcome to my world. Today I'm going to be unboxing this a box, hence unboxing. So I'm a member of a retro gaming Facebook group. Um, I can't remember the name of it. It's a uh, retro gaming, retro retro whole whole, whole retro. Basically, it's a retro gaming uh, Facebook group uh, based in Hull, but it's available to people worldwide, obviously. And uh, they do lots of competitions and things. And one they had a couple of weeks ago, there were four prizes and three winners. And um, so the person who came in first got to pick two of the prizes, the person who came in second got to pick one of the prizes, and the person who came in last got whatever was left over. I came in last, so I got whatever was left over. Um, the prizes on offer were consoles, four retro consoles, three of them boxed, one unboxed. Um, basically, so the other two uh, winners got to pick what they wanted, so they got to know what was available. I didn't, so what's in this box is a complete mystery to me. Um, so I don't know if it's one of the box consoles, or if it's the unboxed one. I'll probably guess unboxed, personally, just because... If you're going to win a prize, why would you go with some of its unboxed rather than a boxed one? But then again, it depends if they already owned the unboxed one and or the, the one of the boxed ones and wanted the unboxed one. Who knows? Uh, yeah, so I have absolutely no idea. Oh, let's put this over here. What's in the box? If it's boxed or unboxed. Now, the odds of it being a console I already own are pretty high because I already own you know, a NES, a SNES, an N64, a GameCube, a Wii, a Wii U, a Switch, um, a Mega Drive, a Dreamcast, unfortunately, um, an Xbox, a PS1, a PS2, a PS3, a PS4, um, Game Gear, a Game Boy Advance SP, a Game Boy Advance, um, yes, I don't own an original Game Boy. I don't own a Master System or a Saturn, I doubt it'll be a Saturn in here because those go for quite a bit of money these days. Um, yeah, so my guess is it, it's something I already own, but you never know, I could be surprised. And there's also a good chance there's a bundle of games with it as well, so we'll see. So if at least if I, if I already own the console, I might not own the games. So, alright, let's, let's see if I can open up the box. Lots and lots of tape everywhere. There we go. Yep, that's that one there. Let's get down. Come on. There we go. I think that might be it. Yes. I can open it. Uh, okay, so what's going to be inside? Oh, crikey. Eh. Let's see, don't, don't, don't. What kind of box is this? Uh, right. So I can see something in there wrapped up in bubble wrap, so I'm guessing it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's unboxed, uh, but you never know. I can't even unbox the bloody thing. Uh, ow. Okay. Right, um. uh, where, where else does this open up? How? I don't, I don't understand how this box works. Let's try uh, slicing down, down there. It's a great unboxing video, I can't even open the box. Funnily enough, it's not the first time this has happened either. What is it with boxes these days? Not even open. Well, I'm just going to have to cut into it. Just hold on a second, just over here, cutting. Ooh, it is boxed. And I've just seen what it is. I, I do own one of these consoles, but um, 
yeah, I'm very happy to own the potentially a better better version because mine's a bit iffy sometimes at playing games. So yeah. Ooh. Uh, let's see if I can open this properly off screen. Um, I'll probably just do an edit here where I've quickly opened it. It'll make it look like I did it in seconds, but really it's probably going to take me about 10 minutes. Yay. <sighs> okay, got it out of the box. And now it's just in bubble wrap, but uh, obviously you have to see through the bubble wrap, see what it is. Like I said, I mentioned I already know what it is, so I'm just going to take it out of the bubble wrap. I'll not talk so I can put the volume down or whatever because the bubble wrap will make a lot of noise. Okay, it's out the bubble wrap and the big unveil is a Nintendo Entertainment System, the control deck, complete in box, hopefully. Um, don't know how complete it'll be on the inside. Box uh, has seen better days, but I don't care. I don't own the box for any old consoles. Um, think like the, the newest box that I might own for a console is the original Xbox, uh, if I still have that one. If not, it'll be the Wii. Yeah, so, okay, let's uh, get it opened up and see what it's like on the inside. Ooh. Yeah, there's polystyrene in there. Oh, wow, yes. Look at this. Hey, proper polystyrene. Oh, looks ancient as well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, game codes. Um, wow, book of a really ancient book of game codes. So it um just, just see there. Get codes for Kung Fu. Huh. I was not aware there were codes for Kung Fu. Never actually sort of looked up. Uh, Kung Code Seven gives one life to play, don't you? Um, Okay. Okay. Um. I don't really understand where you put the codes in. So I don't recall there being a place to type in anything in Kung Fu. Huh? Because it's asking you know, key in you know, S U P E S A that gives uh, both players infinite lives. Um, wait. Do, do you type in a name at some point? I don't know. Do, do you maybe have to lose and then you, you score? I don't recall that. Huh. Oh, obviously. Th um, this will probably be for uh, a game genie or something, won't it? Yeah, that that makes more sense. Um, <laughs> okay. Fortunately, is it is it, is it complete? Yes, yes, it's for the game genie. That that makes sense now. Yeah. Wow. This is old and a little bit broken. Doesn't have a front cover, but it looks like it, it is all complete apart from the game index. You know, doesn't start at A, but uh, the actual codes do and everything. So. Huh. Well, that's pretty old. And uh, some someone here has wrote down what they've got as well. The Super Mario Bros. Yeah, they, they, they've got that. Uh, that that's good. That's always uh, a good game to have, especially since like, it's supposed to come with this. Whether it did or not, uh, we'll see. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that, that's a cool item to have. Uh, okay. We've got some, uh, the original controllers. Good stuff. Uh, Always handy to have more controllers. Uh, it's like they could do with a, a bit of a clean on the old wires. But yeah, um, I actually bought a Repro controller. It looks like the original, but you know, I thought, you know, since the originals are so old, 30 plus years old, you know, maybe I'll buy a Repro and it'll, it'll play fine. It didn't even work. 
had to end up buying a, a 30 year old controller that worked fine. So yeah, two controls in there, there's the, the plug, and yes, indeed, the game console. Lovely jubblies. Oh, and there's a game inside, and it is not Super Mario Bros, which is fine, because uh, I already own that. It is Captain Skyhawk. Not sure which game that is. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm assuming they tested it all and then it works fine. Um, <laughs> Oh wow, Com comes with the uh, the very original RF cable um, to uh, send it to the TV, but I've got RCA cables for it anyway, to, and then a connector to hook it up to HDMI so I can play it on my modern TV, so that's cool. So yeah, look forward to uh, testing this out and seeing if it'll play games straight away. My old one, um, I had it. I, I managed to fix it so it did sort of play games straight away and then after a few times of playing games it just decided that no, it's going to be fun and you have to really mess around with it to uh, get games to play. So hopefully this will start playing them straight away because uh, it's always nice to just be able to put in a cartridge, clip it down and get playing rather than having to mess about with all in now, blowing on it, whatever. Yeah, so cool, and it came with a game. So, uh, ooh, actually, uh, making a bit of noise there. Um, this is a bit of a um, recent non gaming pickups. Well, technically, it could go in gaming, uh, but a bit of a preview Nintendo Encyclopedia that I got. So, let's look up. Captain Skyhawk to see what we can get a bit of information about what it is. Da, 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 da. Okay, lots of bees. Da, 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 da. Captain Skyhawk. Okay, released in 1990. Developer. Ooh, rare. Um, publisher Milton Bradley. Let's see what it says. Hey, aliens have invaded Earth and their mission, it won't surprise you to find out, is to destroy us all. They built four bases in remote corners of the globe and plan to use them to drain the Earth's energy, leaving the planet open to attack. It's up to the, up to the heroic Captain Skyhawk in his trusty F-14 VTS plane to do two things. Destroy the four bases and also drop off supplies at various underground caverns so the world's scientists can finish creating a super weapon to destroy the alien space station. This is all played out in isometric viewpoints, similar to Sega's Zaxxon, in which players have to be sure to not only avoid aliens, but the scenery too. Um, fact, despite the game not having a first-person perspective, the manual insists that Captain Skyhawk, armed with a spy satellite viewer, that lets you see the plane from above. Oh, so you're actually Captain Skyhawk with a, a, a viewer to see the plane from above, see? So <laughs> okay, uh, that, 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 that's uh, what it says in the book, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's very handy that this book came in handy uh, so quickly. Um, can't imagine it's the best of games, but it will be interesting to try it. And Cole just have that book on hand to uh, quickly see what it's about. So, yeah. Wow. There's me with um, a boxed Nintendo Entertainment System. And, you know, I haven't had a boxed Nintendo since... Back in the day when I originally had a Nintendo, all those many, many, many years ago. So that's pretty awesome to have, and it was you know, a prize. So yay me! So thanks to the uh, the retro gaming group that uh, name I can't remember of. I'll put it on the screen, a link down below. So thanks for watching. I'm Big Cal, and I'll see you again next time.